Hey, what is going on guys? It's the Alice Project here and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. Now as you can see, this is the vanilla game and you might be wondering, what the hell is this? Well, I thought that Trump's America kind of came to a conclusion once, once China was done. We were just gonna go fuck up a lot of smaller countries. But today we have something different. Yes, I'm actually gonna be playing France with historical AI off. We're gonna be playing on regular, so let's get in. We will be going. Prepare for this drum roll. <laughs> communist France. Yes, yes, I know. There's probably a million and a half communist France let's plays. But I thought, why not? And I thought we should give it a try. So France is actually quite, quite a fun uh, country to play. I've actually played it twice. Once I went communist and played as a fellow communist nation and we crushed Germany. Second time, I said fuck you to Britain and made my small alliance, well, small, with Czechoslovakia, Poland, Yugoslavia, Romania, Greece, and all of those countries that got attacked. And that's the, sm I got the small untanned, uh, small untanned thing. So, Let's actually go for govern government reform first. Now, with that settled, we're gonna improve our guns. We actually don't have engineers. That's sad. That's very sad. And production. Now, as you can see, France has a massive standing army. It's 53 divisions here. And, uh,. 14 divisions here, and then like a couple, one here and one here, but those are just like colonial troops. And we have this one division here. So 53 divisions is plenty of divisions in order to withstand Germans' onslaught. Now, we will um, get rid of all the better ones, just for now. Just so I can do a bit of reshuffling. So I'll get rid of you. And everyone is going to be division infantry. Okay. Now we have all these are divisions. They're infantry divisions. Uh, the infantry divisions are going... Like, they're 29 there. We're going to take like... fifteen. 15 are gonna garrison the border with Germany. Well, the direct border. We know that the Germans are actually gonna have uh, another one. And we're gonna give them... Like I like all of these, but these guys are very, very old guard-ish. And yeah. Okay, I'll put... I'll give them um, Maurice Gamelan. Just... And I'm butchering his name, but whatever. Uh, just because he... Is not gonna have that much action there. Hopefully, hopefully, of course. Uh, the rest are gonna go on the border with Belgium. And I actually just realized that I'm not kind of following how much I'm recording. So this episode may be slightly longer or shorter depending on how long I make it. Right, so these guys are settled. Uh, as far as industry is concerned, we're gonna build a couple of... Uh, civilian factories, and we're gonna build a shit ton of military ones. Why, you ask? We have six military factories, people. Whopping six military factories, and we're supposed to be a superpower at this point in time. This is sad. Very, very sad. So, our main goal is to reindustrialize, and we're gonna do that. We're gonna go communist, and we will uh, reindustrialize. So I think that we can. Actually, we need to reshuffle this. Uh, I don't need this many ships. We're gonna be fighting Germany, not Britain. Um. 
I kind of need all of these, so we're going to leave them. But we're going to just put this here. So we need two oil. Oil, okay, that we can spare. All right. Now we can go. Now we're, I'm going to restructure the rest. Don't worry, I'm just trying to get these guys to kind of free up the space. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so now all of these, everyone. Not you. 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 Actually, you're going to stay. You. We have quite a lot of tank divisions. That's... That's true. They're all very, very old tank divisions. All right, so we're gonna make a mobile core. We're gonna try to avoid all the mistakes that France actually made during uh, the fight with Germany. They have incorporated, they haven't used uh, tanks effectively. So yeah, we're gonna give these guys to here, and uh, there, and uh, There we go. Right now, you two. I have a lot of me of more mechanized, motorized, so that's neat. We're gonna move them down there. Right now, we need the southern front. It's ten divisions. We're gonna need a bit more. We don't really need to uh, reshuffle them apart from this one, who we're gonna change. There we go. And you guys are there, and we're gonna give you obviously. Well, Charles de Gaulle is actually not as as good as uh, Alfonso Juan or whatever. But yeah, we're going to give them. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, so far, things look good. We're going to put these guys on the border with these guys. And just uh, try to neutralize Italy's colonial bases as soon as possible. So yeah, there we have it. This is our army. We have 10 divisions here, we have 15 divisions here, 15 divisions here. Good. Now we will just be massing. Okay, you guys need to get over here. And you guys do it as well. And you guys as well. Do I have any more tank divisions? No. <clears throat> Alright, so you all are... So we have 13... We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, right, all right, all right. We have six tank divisions. That's not bad at all. So, um, all right, government reforms done. Next up, we will be going revise Versailles. Then we have we can go for a republican intervention, and we really want that. We need to get that as fast as possible because we kind of want this flank down here secure. We kind of do. You know, we kind of want to help out the um, Republicans. Because they usually lose because of Germany and all. We're going to send, uh, I don't know if I'll send Alfonso uh, Juan Alfonso, uh, or if I'm going to send uh, Charles de Gaulle. But yeah, we're going to send somebody. So yeah, we're protected by the Maginot Line. We have a disjointed government that I think we can get rid of once we go. No? Uh, actually, I think it's like... Mm, I think it's... That we need to go, like... Not army reform. Yeah, that removes victors of the Great War. Good. Uh, but something else removes the something else removes the disjointed government. I cannot remember what it was. Oh. Elections, public demands, rearmament. The people have the right to feel safe. Yes, and that actually helps me. I don't know why anyone would press something else. So yeah, we just got a better law. Great. That's actually something I really enjoy. Thank you. So yes, we're going to revise Versailles, which is going to give us two land doctrines. We're going to focus about uh, around mass mobilization, because we're going to be on the defensive. We need the manpower. 
and we're going to be focusing on infantry instead of tanks. I like to focus on infantry. But tanks win games. But, okay. So next up, we need to support the left quickly. So, right, basic machine tools and support weapons are done. We can go for concentrated industry and we can go for construction. Alright, we actually can use a new advisor. War industrialist. I actually think I'm going to go for that because we still cannot get the communist guy because we still haven't gone with the support the left. And the Spanish Civil War happened. We need to be fast about this. Because I don't know how long they're going to survive because they're these guys are probably going to get German support and Italian support straight off the bat. So these guys already have a non-aggression pact signed. And there it goes. Yeah, the volunteers are there. So we kind of need to be snappy about it. Movement France Philippe Tom. Yeah, things are not looking pretty. Oh, did the Soviets send them? Yeah, they sent free volunteers. Good. That's going to keep them a bit. That's going to keep them occupied a bit. We just need time. We need time. Like, time is of the essence. Okay, en engineers. Alright, Lang Doctrines. Where are we? We don't want that. We want mass assault. Start doing that. We need mass assault. Look at all these countries we can release and all these countries we can return territory to. Huh. Ooh. Okay, I've never seen them actually circle these guys. Hopefully they'll destroy them as well. I don't know if they will though. Right. Quickly. So we need Republican intervention. Go. That's gonna take 70 days. If they survive for 70 days, we'll be able to help. So we're st we've started supporting the communists. That's good. Right, so how's the war going so far? Ooh, not too good. 3k, 1k, not a good ratio. But hopefully if they kill these guys, maybe it'll be better. Workers threaten with strikes. Uh, yeah, negotiate a fucking deal. We're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna let them uh, freaking strike and destroy our uh, factories forever and ever. Because we need our rifles, we really do. So which tanks are we actually using? FCM 36s. Okay, well those things are actually quite powerful. So how many will we be able to send once we get around to... Uh, have they still not destroyed this pocket here? Oh, they, they, they just did. Okay, so that's... Yeah, that just flipped the sides. But, this is gonna happen. I can see it. Dread. Come on, cut this off, please. Please cut this off here. Oh, 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 that's a line breaker. Come on, we're so close, come on. We need to, and there we go. The Madrid, Madrid is encircled. Oh, they've broken through there. Okay, there, they've, okay, they've saved Madrid. Good. Okay, we can, we can still, we still have time. Come on. Okay, Republican intervention. Uh... Okay, we're not gonna... No, we're gonna issue a... Whatever. We cannot fight. Alright, so we, can we... 10 volunteers, yes. We can 4. Fuck yeah. Alright. So we're gonna take... You, and you, and two of these. Good. We're gonna be under command of Charles de Gaulle. And we're gonna... Send you over. Alright. Now, this is it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. This is a brand new series, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, as always, this was the LS Project, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.